To access the custom GPTs inside your free chat GPT, what you do, you come to the left sidebar here and then you click on Explorer GPTs. Once you click on Explorer GPTs, then you will land on this homepage of all the custom GPTs inside the GPT store. I'm not sure of how many GPTs inside the store, but I've heard that probably there are more than 3 million. Now, this is the homepage and to navigate inside this store, you have so many different ways. Number one, you can navigate through the categories here. As you can see, you have top picks, you have writing, you have productivity, you have research and analysis, you have education, lifestyle and programming. And for example, let's say we click into lifestyle. Once you click into lifestyle, you can see that you have all these custom GPTs into the category of lifestyle. Here it says get tips on travel, workouts, style, food, and more. All these are under the lifestyle category. And then if you click on see more, I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of more custom GPTs inside this lifestyle category. I can see we have 12. I'm not sure if these are the only 12 custom GPTs, but let's keep exploring. Now we are in the programming category and let's click on see more. Again, we have 12. Probably it can only list 12 apps or 12 custom gpts in each category let's scroll down and we see into trending let's click on see more probably you can only it can only list 12 at once in a category and then these have been created by chat gpt themselves it says GPT is created by the chat GPT team. By the way, you also you can create your own custom GPT. You simply log in to your chat GPT account and then you go, you click here on the top create but you can see here it's locked it's it's not active it's because i'm using my free account of chat gpt chat gpt plus cost 20 dollars a month so if you want if you want to create your app and then you share with the world on the gpt store then you can pay this 20 dollars and then you create it and then you know you share with the world gpt store is like the app store or the google play store and then the custom gpts if you don't know basically they are apps or custom chat gpt which have been created by individuals you also you can create it you don't have to be how to write codes you don't have to be a techie person you simply follow the the instructions inside your chat gpt when creating a custom gpt you simply give it the instructions to finish or to complete a specific task for example let's say you have a website about travel and tourism you can say i'm gonna create a custom chat gpt to help my visitor the visitors of my website knowing about you know what i'm doing there how i do it and more benefits when they work with you or it can be something different now to use a custom gpt this is how you do it let's say you want to select one of them here you simply select it Let's go with this one. I'm Planty, your fun and friendly plant care assistant. Ask me how to best take care of your plants. Let me say I want to use this. It has been created by ChatGPT team. I click on Planty. And then here I can see information about the tool, about the app I'm going to use. And then I'm not sure why I can't see the ratings here and then how many times it has been used let's cancel it and maybe let's take another one and we see if we can get it um 
let's go okay let's take this one image generator you can see this one has been used six million and above and then it is rating at 3.6 you can see what it does it generates an image of, oh sorry these are the custom sorry these are the default prompts you can start using basically this one what it does a gpt specialized in generating and refining images with a mix of professional and friendly tone image generator now when you want to continue with it you simply click on start chat this will open like the normal chat gpt but up here you can see you are now into another app this one the one i'm having the one i have right now it's called plenty and if you look at the top left here corner you can also see that it's plenty let me ask it how to use you or oh, let me start from this default prompt that which are here can you help me choose plants for low light okay let's let me click here and see what it's gonna give me as you can see it is now providing the response according to the prompt can you help me choose plants for low light now let me say that i want to start a new chart i want to start over but with this custom gpt what i do i come on the name of that gpt custom gpts and then i click here and then i start a new chart by clicking here on the new chart and then in in a in a very short moment you see i'm back here why i my tomato plant not fruiting you can ask anything here now if you go back to your to the left sidebar you can see now that i have chat gpt and then plenty this means this is the chat gpt the free version and now this one is the custom gpt if i want to go back to the custom gpts to explore more i simply click on explore gpts and then it takes me back again to the home page of the custom gpts and then i select the one i want and if i don't see the one i want here i can also come here and type it here let's say i want something related to image and then i click search and you can see i do have so many custom gpts and i can click here see more custom many custom gpts related to image of course generating images inside your cast uh, inside your gpt now this one says image creator and generator mid journey version 6 i've never used it let me click create this is the prompt that i'm giving it a 30 year old marketing executive brainstorming ideas for a new advertising campaign let's see what it gonna give me find the style you want for the marketing campaign image do you have a specific style in mind for example do you prefer something modern vintage minimalistic or maybe a specific artist style like art nouveau or a cinematic look let me say a cinematic look now let's define the main subject of the image i don't like why you keep asking me so many information but yeah this is good for the ai tools the more information you give the better results you can expect let me say just create just be creative by yourself be creative now this is the prompt this is the prompt that year old marketing is it now this is a deep detailed description or prompt for that image and then here this is the technical parameters this is the aspect ratio let's generate this image i can't create images right now can i help you with something else if you need assistance with anything else feel free to ask why i don't know why get chat gpt plus to create images and more i'm not sure why i can't create images let me use another one for example this one logo creator and 
you can see it has been used by 2 million plus conversations and it has very good ratings you can see five stars it's a very good one so now click on start chat and let me see the instructions to use it create me generate me a logo featuring an ice cream all right let me click on this one you can see it asks me to create the best logo possible for you i would like to ask you a few questions first do you want the logo to be vibrant natural serious skip all four questions and generate a logo using the default option immediately vibrant fail simple and minimal minimal minimalistic red and blue color palette one single logo let me select D and C. Again, you can see I can't create images right now. Can I help you with something else? Probably right now the GPTs are not working, especially the ones to create the images. Let me try another one. Um, maybe story. Let me search for the story. A creative assistant for story writing, storytelling, fostering imagination and offering. Let's see. let's see this one. Storyteller, writer, generator. Let's see. This one has been used above 25,000. This is 10K thousand. Okay, let's go with the first one. Help me start a story about a time travel adventure. Let me say, create me. As you can see, if I ask things related to writing, it can generate them, but, the, but when I ask things rela related to images, it doesn't create them. Probably the platform has issues. I'm not sure. This is not about me being on the free account. No, it's something different. You can see I've only given it the very simple prompt create me a story about parenting and then it first gives me the outline you know the prologue then chapter one what it gonna gives me what it gonna give me then in chapter two chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter six chapter seven and then after that it started generating the entire story the prologue this is everything that it has created for me and then in the chapter one this is what he has put in guys this gpt this custom gpt is awesome because if i was using the normal chat gpt oh my goodness i had to put more to keep you know putting in prompt so that it can generate more however as you can see it has only stopped on chapter three and then down here it says continue generating that means the output for this conversation it only it can only gives me only these words i'm not sure how many words and then if i click on continue on continue generating then it will finish this entire story if I want it guys this is how to access and use the custom GPTs inside the free chat GPT however you have to be aware that even though you have access you also have limitations you can't use it the entire day you can't use it to create everything you want just like someone who has paid who is paying 20 usd per month maybe before you pay this 20 dollars a month you can start with your free version your free account and you try whatever you want to try and then when you are happy but limited to continue generating what you want to generate then you can pay all right I think you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if I, have a, if I have forgotten to mention something or if you have a question. I will be glad to respond to you if you ask. I will be glad to respond to you if you ask. And please subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video. I really appreciate if you do that. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.